What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. A virtue signal is somebody who's not virtuous trying to act like they're virtuous by signaling it. And this is what the woke do all the time. It's the iron law actually of wokeism is that you have no virtue, yet you're gonna signal the world that you yourself are the most virtuous person who ever lived. You yourself are just a deity walking around. If everyone just thought like you, you know, cause you're always concerned about the little people, the minority, the poor, those underprivileged, right? Like, for instance, people who work hourly wages delivering beer. You know, you're the ones who's concerned about them. That's why you work in marketing at Bud Light. And so when you went ahead and spit in the face of your customers and their values, and you caused the greatest boycott and most successful, catastrophically successful boycott in the history of the world, uh, you were thinking about the little people, were you? Yeah, right, frauds. Check this out from ABC News. The truck drivers are now complaining about, and rightfully so, about what Budweiser has done to them and what Bud Light has done to them. The biggest losers, Bud Light boycott hammers hundreds of independent distributors. It's disheartening, the owner of Anheuser-Busch distributor said. Listen to this uh, opening statement here. This is really, really quite telling. Truck drivers who, you know, right, are like the working man or woman who's like, physically delivering the Budweiser so that you can drink it. Truck drivers delivering Bud Light have received the middle finger from passersby. They've faced intentional collisions from shopping carts into their trucks as they drop off beer. And they have endured jokes like people calling them gay beer salesmen, according to top officials at several beer distributors. Gay beer salesmen. And I quote, Well, Anheuser-Busch InBev uh, weathers the consumer boycott of Bud Light over its promotion, uh, with Dylan Mulvaney, the fallout is hitting hundreds of independent and often family-owned distributors that sell and deliver Bud Light to the stores. Yeah. You think? This is, of course, Budweiser isn't like this giant octopus company that controls all things in the beer uh, industry. Actually, Bud Budweiser itself is just a brewer. They depend on relationships and contracts with hundreds of other companies around the country to actually deliver their beers into the convenience stores. You have to have those relationships. You have to have, it's a very relatively sophisticated uh, content delivery system, beer delivery system, distribution and logistics, man. They're, the biggest losers are the 500 independent businesses in the U.S. that distribute Anheuser-Busch products. Those people are really hurting. Uh, yup, that's right. They're the ones who actually uh, are the one, they get paid on commissions based on how much Bud Light gets sold. So while people can go and buy Bud Light stock, not like anyone's doing that, here's what Bud Light stock looks like right now. Look at this, look at this cliff that it has dropped off of. Boom. Just absolutely, this is over the course of the year, by the way. We're not like zooming in on something to make it look bad. This is over the course of the year. It's trading lower than it's traded all year long. I think we're headed for some very record lows. While the investors are getting schlonged too, Target and Bud Light investors lose billions, $28 billion, missing the mark. Even though the entire market is doing great, they're missing. So how is that possible? Well, because Budweiser and Bud Light did not think about the little people. These woke, these wokesters inside of the marketing departments for Bud Light thought about themselves. And they didn't think about, let's say, the distributor in Alabama who had to cut this radio ad distancing himself from Dylan Mulvaney. This is just like a small town guy at the Bama Distributor Company, is what it's called. This guy had to cut an ad in order to try and distance himself from the decisions, the moronic decisions that his own company made. Watch. Tatum, Vice President, General Manager of Bama Budweiser, your local Bud Light distributor. There's been a lot of discussion, frustration, and even anger across the country regarding just one single can made of Bud Light that was produced for a social media influencer. We too at Bama Budweiser have said about it and have made our feelings known to the top leadership at Anheuser-Busch. The voice of the consumer has been heard and Anheuser-Busch has taken action. We at Bama Budweiser, an independent wholesaler, employ around 100 people who live here, work here and our children go to school here we do not and as i said before 
did not support this issue involving Dylan Mulvaney. There was one single can made, was not for sale, and wasn't properly approved. As a result, the Bud Light brand has new leadership. Dylan Mulvaney is not under contract with Bud Light. The videos you may have seen are Mulvaney's own social media posts that went viral, and many web-based news outlets have distorted the story. You deserve to know the truth, and life is too short to let a couple of individuals decide what you can eat or drink or spend your hard-earned money on. And remember, making friends is our business, not enemies. Yeah, that's right. We get to decide what we spend our money on. And people are saying we are not going to spend it on Bud Light. This is getting ridiculous at this point. This is why the Bud Light section <laughs> of stores looks like this. Look at this. I'm stacking Bud Light. Look, look at that. This is, this is just a, a wall of Bud Light. I've never seen anything like it. Just like a wall of Bud Light. You're not going to be able to defeat the memers. You're not going to be able to defeat man culture. It's man culture is saying that it is socially unacceptable to drink Bud Light. What's up, bro? Well, no, hey, no. man, just getting some Coors yeah, Light. Some <laughs> no, just getting some Coors Light for the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just not gonna, you're not gonna, be, you're not gonna beat it. Okay, this is a, uh, this is a, a face swap of Joe Biden on to an actual influencer though, who thought that they'd do their own version of the Mulvaney. This is what's ping pong balling around the internet. You're not gonna beat it. No matter how many times you uh, pay Walmart to put Bud Light at the front of the store. This is how desperate Budweiser is. They had Walmart move their products right to the front entrance of Walmart. Walmart. And look. And look. And look. Right by the cups, not a single package taken. Nothing. All right, guys. I know there's a lot of these videos out here about Bud Light, but look at this one. For rectal use only. Yeah. They're on all the boxes. Oh man. Listen, guys, this is just simple this is simple economics. You're not gonna get your customers back because man culture has made it socially unacceptable to drink your product. You have made it socially unacceptable to drink your product. That's why you're giving it away for free here. Here's a guy with a radio show up in Wisconsin, and this guy's saying that the local food store, Festival Foods, is giving away 30 packs of Budweiser for less than $5 each. This is with a rebate. You can actually click on the link and you can see the, you know, the, cla the classic stuff that it comes in the mail right to your house. Like, here it is, right there. You check it out. <laughs> Text BUD and receive a $15 rebate. We told you they wouldn't be able to give it away for free. And there it is. We checked. Here's the rebate section of their website. There's the Bud Light section of the website. Oh man. Oh man. Yep. Sorry guys. Sorry guys, you effed around. You effed around and now you found out. And now these truck drivers are getting cursed at and yelled at and called gay beer salesmen, quote unquote, giving the middle fingers, uh, cause of you. You people who thought that, uh, who thought that you were doing the world a favor. That you were better than the that the, the, that you could use this brand that is that we all know that no you know that like nobody had any problem drinking and use it as a Trojan horse for your political agenda political <laughs> agenda cannot hammer that home enough stop using brands for political agendas just make product let politicians and let the voters sort the rest of it out I mean because that's called fascist that's called cultural Marxism. When you have to use every element and every leverage point in order to push agenda. No. And we, we say enough. We say enough as the American people. Very proud of uh, the fact that we've said enough and that we've done so much damage. They'll write it in the history books of the marketing uh, departments of every single university not to do this. They'll, they'll be writing about Bud Light. The books are getting written right now. Trust me. I've done interviews for some of them. <laughs> uh, the power of this audience. You'll love it and you want to see it grow. Like, share, and subscribe to your boy Benny's channel. See ya.